Hey good looking, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video for you girls. Today I wanted to do a bag switch. So I'll be switching out of my Coach Gallery tote right here, which I've been using for work. And you can see it's packed with all my items. And I'll be switching into, hold on one second. I'll be switching into this lovely Kirk Geiger recyclable tote, shopper tote. So if you like videos like these, come on aboard the channel, stick with me, hit like and subscribe. Let's go ahead, let's get started, let's jump right in. So I'll be switching out of the gallery tote by Coach into this lovely Kirk into this lovely Kurt Geiger shopping recyclable tote. But I wanted to talk about a few things and go through a few steps when you're switching a handbag. So I have about three to five different steps and we'll talk about a few of them today in diff no sequential order. We're just gonna go ahead and talk about a few things that I do when I'm switching out of a bag. So if you wanna talk about these different steps or these different tips that I have for switching your bag, just to make the bag switch a little bit more easy, let's go ahead, let's get started, let's jump right in so first of all I want to start off by saying my tip number one when you leave the house never overpack your bag always underpack your bag because when you come back home from work or from shopping or from where wherever you're going you're always gonna have more in your bag when you come back because as you're out about running the, your course of the day you're gonna dump more items in your bag you may pick up something at a store you it's never gonna be as organized as when you first leave the house. So I wanna show my real bag here. <laughs> and this is how everything I dumped in. Now this was after a work day, so don't judge me, you guys. If I'm out shopping or just having a leisurely day with family, then my bag doesn't get this messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna say inside or this disorganized. I'll say disorganized, not messed up. But this is how my bag is looking. I don't wanna spill anything out. Cause I even have a snack here. So this is how my items ended up looking inside my bag. You can see everything is jam packed in there. And I don't even know how this happened, but I ended up losing the top to my Oreo container. So I had some Oreos with me that I had to carry with me for a snack today. And you know the little plastic lid that comes inside of it. I think I remember dropping it in the car and I think it's outside of my car and I never picked it up. So. I have these Oreos that I'm gonna end up throwing out because they've been in my bag now. I'm gonna clean out my bag for about a day. They're stale now. These are gonna be tossed out. So throw out and don't follow me. Throw out. First of all, I don't like putting food in my bag. That's a no-no. Never put food inside your bag. If it's closed and it's packaged, then I do take a snack with me in my purse. However, once I open it, I don't like putting it in back in my bag for this very same reason right here, because I believe that one Oreo may have tumbled out and is in the bottom of my bag. I don't like crumbs in my bag. I don't like odor or a soil spot in my bag and that's what food tends to cause in your bag if you keep food in your bag so don't keep food in your bag this was a rare case of me having a pack of oreos and it opened up inside my bag that's why i have my lovely dust buster right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the items out of my bag and this dust buster I purchased at Walmart and this is not a shark or anything like my vacuum. This is just a little cheapy. I think it was like $20 for this dust buster and this dust buster I use only to clean out my handbags. When I purchase a vintage coach bag and I want to clean it before I start using it, I can use this dust buster. I can use this dust buster on any of my handbags on the inside if I want to dust, you know, if I want to clean them out before I go ahead and use another bag. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of my bag. You see I have my card case right here. I have a notepad right here. I have my car charger some stray napkins, my sunglasses didn't make it back, my Ray-Ban sunglasses just got dumped in my bag, they didn't make it back inside the case. So let's just say I had a hectic day at work. I wasn't able to go ahead and repack my bag with the way I wanted to and put everything back in there neatly as I used my items throughout the course of the day. So then I have my pencil case right here by Coach. I have my glasses and I have my makeup items in my Coach Dempsey boxy case right here 
and I have a lot of loose items inside my bag. So let me go ahead and finish emptying my bag and I'll be right back to talk to you girls. Okay you girls, so I'm back and I've emptied everything out of my gallery tote. So that is gonna be step number one, cleaning and emptying everything out of your tote and your first bag from the bag switch and getting ready for bag number two. My bag is, this is everything that was in my bag and I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum out the interior really quickly. no harm no foul everything is out of my bag what you can do also is just shake your bag over a garbage can just take your bag turn it upside down and just shake it out over you know your garbage bin or your trash can you can always just shake your bag out that way or you can use a dust buster and dust bust the interior of your bag the next thing that you can do now I did get there's nothing in there now my bag is clean just like brand new and the next thing that you can do is if you do have like lint or anything in your bag like a little lint or anything that you want to get out the bottom of the bag that the dust buster didn't take out is a secret trick of mine is just use a piece of tape take a piece of tape off you know the roll and just take a little piece of tape like this and then you can just take this and go you know through the interior of the bag just stick it just wipe the interior of the bag with the tape just like I'm doing uh, you can, you're not going to be able to see that with, you know, the way I'm doing it, but just wipe the interior of the back with the tape, and if anything is in there, it's going to come out on the tape. So that's another little trick or thing that you can do to clean the interior of your bag. Just take a piece of tape. And these are just my tips. I'm not saying everybody has to do it this way. So dust bust it, vacuum it. Now the bag is all clean on the interior. Now we're ready to clean the exterior. And for this type of tote bag, since it is just a coated canvas tote bag by Coach, I can go ahead and use a Lysol wipe. On the exterior because I've set this bag down in my work vehicle and in my personal car you know I'm, I'm not worried about it but in my work vehicle several people use that car on different shifts on first watch second watch third watch different shifts so for me for my work vehicle since I set my car down in my bag down since I set my bag down in the passenger seat I will use a Clorox wipe on and it's a coach bag you can't harm a coach bag with a, this type of coach bag with the Clorox wipe so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it down now if this was leather I wouldn't use the Clorox wipe I would probably just use a paper towel a damp paper towel you know but being that this is a coated canvas bag I feel comfortable and I'm okay with just using the Clorox wipe and I'm still not using this on the leather handle I'm just gonna use a paper towel a damp paper towel on the leather handle but this is very nice because now my bag is clean and you know it's clean and ready to go again and it's not gonna damage the bag to just use a Clorox wipe it's not gonna damage the bag to just use a Clorox wipe on the bag so that is the second tip first is bring everything out that you're going to be switching out of and into the next bag. Next, clean the bag and then repack the new bags. So now we have the new bag here all ready and set to go. And this is the interior of the bag that I'm going to be using. It has the Kurt Geiger dust bag right here. and this is the interior and I cleaned this bag already from the last time when I used it you know I cleaned it before I put it up in my closet so this bag is all set and ready to go and that way when you're finished with the bag when you clean it when you get ready to use it again it's already cleaned out you don't have to wait to clean out your bag so all we have to do is go ahead and pack this lovely bag with my items I'm gonna go ahead and put my notebook in there I'm gonna go ahead and put my car charger in there. 
I'm going to go ahead and put my boxy cosmetic case in there by Coach. I will put my pencil case in there, my glasses, my sunglasses that are now in their correct case, my coin purse, lotion, and my card holder. So this is what everything looks like in my bag. My Kurt Geiger recycled tote. This is what everything looks like in there. This bag might flop around a little bit, but that's what everything looks like inside there. Nicely, neatly packed. And this is my bag switch of my two bags, you girls, from my Coach Gallery tote to my Kurt Geiger recyclable shopping tote. I hope you girls enjoyed this video on how to switch on how to switch and change out your bag, the steps that I use when I'm switching and changing out my bag. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. That was so much fun to do. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you girls in my next video. Bye. <laughs>